Uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video. I actually haven't uploaded in a long time. Oh, well, if you count that, um, meme fight scene, it wasn't that big, like, it wasn't really an upload. But, yeah, if you watch my Twitch, you'll probably know that, um, I haven't streamed on there. It's because, I'm um, actually, I'm having troubles with connecting my Twitch, because it randomly unconnected. Anyway, today I will be teaching you how to make a simple 1v1. Well, it doesn't really have to be simple, but I'll just be teaching you how to make a good 1v1. So, yeah. So, this is the 1v1 map that I've started off with. Um, I'm, I'm not just going to give you this and be like, oh, I'll make it. Uh, but this is kind of the end goal. It doesn't have to do with, like, the Chinese stuff. But, yeah, you're just going to make a 1v1 with some pretty good stuff. I am definitely a creative fanatic. I have 50 out of 50 islands and I like making that. So I'm just gonna delete this one. Um, What you want to start off with, it doesn't really matter, depends. If you would like a, like a, the type of C1, choose the sandbar island. I'll just show you um, the one that I chose, the one that I made. So this is the um, 1v1 map that I made. Uh, as you can see, it's got like a sunset setting. It's got like a bunch of water. It's got some sand. Um, it's got some minis, some grappler. Uh, the only reason I don't have infinite ammo is because of the minis. I wanted to keep it like, oh, not infinite minis in all battle. Because when you die, you respawn with more minis. Actually, no, you don't. But you can just pick them up. Anyway, um, we've got music that you might be able to hear, I don't know, I turn my music quite down, but yeah, you've also got a reset button, like, I might be making another video on it, it's pretty bad, um, anyway, that is my, um, Ocean 1v1. Okay, so personally, I don't, you don't, you could choose any, like I said before, but the one, like, that's probably the best for it is, like I said before, Grid Island. So you're just gonna, um, depends what you play on, just click select on it. And then, um, name it whatever you want, I'm just gonna call it simple. Uh, it's so hard to type on um, Simple. 1v1 so basically once you've loaded up your map uh, just wait so once you've got in your map what you're gonna want to do is I preferably I'd probably go down to the white square um yeah this is what I like to do you don't personally have to do it but if you go into prefabs, like you could choose a theme that you want and you could just use one. I might do, um, make sure it's something, nothing too big like that. Just something small where you can spawn and then get your weapons. Like it doesn't have to be giant. I think I might do, what's this? No, I reckon I might do... This would be pretty cool. You can come out of it. Sorry about that, if you can see it. Um, and you can see that. I honestly don't know what to choose. I'm just going to choose something simple. I'm just going to choose... Maybe go for a haunted room. I'm going to go for a little bit of a haunted room. So this would probably be pretty good size. Yeah, this would probably be around the size that you want. But you've done that, for some reason for me, 
it pops up in my help bar, so I just no not that. Um I'm just gonna put that to a chest and then eat the chest and then just grab the one that is the one I want. I'm just gonna carry both of them for now. And just go like that. If it doesn't do that for the new then it doesn't really matter. But I'd say definitely chuck it in the middle little white square. And once you've got that, um, you can modify it a little bit, however you want, like, you can delete some things. Probably gonna delete this. Yeah, I'll probably delete that. But yeah, yeah, like I said, modify it, um, as much as you want. Delete some stuff, make it look different, you know. Um, what, if you, if you really wanna just copy off what I'm doing, just get a 1v1. Ah, uh, I personally obviously do this. Uh, delete this. Put this here. Uh, I delete the stairs just because you don't really need them. But, like I said, you don't like, need them. You can do your own. But, i uh, just do that. And I'm probably just going to delete these. I'll keep one over here because it's where I'll put the spawn pads here. Um, yeah, always plan. I love to think. You should plan a lot of like what you're gonna do, not just go for it. Um, I think I'll probably put that's probably pretty good. I'll probably just put this one here, this one here. Little pillars, I'll just do all the tombs. And then, yeah, this is what your inside is looking like if you copy mine. But if you didn't, I'm not sure what yours looks like, really. I don't really have any socials that you can post on. But, once you have done that, I'll get on to the next part. Okay, so the next part, you're going to want to grab a sp couple of spawn pads, probably just like five or so. You don't really need to put multiple, I'm just going to put multiple if like your friend wants to spectate or something. I might, actually no, I probably won't add a spectate in here, I just add three, so it's like, yeah. Um, settings for these, you don't really, ha you don't have to do any settings. They're really easy though, to just to make it look good. The literal only setting you need to do is visible during games. You know, it just makes it look cool. Like, cause you can't see them in game. Okay, next step is you wanna grab the item spawner plate. Um, then probably just grab like 10, 15 of these. I'll grab one more. Uh, and then just spam them around the places that you want them to be. I'm not going to put one at the entryway. But uh, yeah, that's probably pretty good. Um, you can put any weapons you want. I'm personally just going to put like a couple different weapons. But uh, yeah, once I'm done the weapons, I will... Um, I'm not actually sure I'll probably get on to building the stairs. Okay, so I'm done the weapons now. I've got... Um, Purple scar, purple pump, blue AR, blue pump. Uh, I just put in a gold heavy sniper if you want to. And um, I put in grappler minis and bigs. Um, so now we're going to be moving on to the stairs. Okay, so if you're doing haunted theme like me, I'd probably just take the stair from here. It probably looks best. Um, since it's going to look uneven if I do this, Look, that's just not cool. I'm just gonna do it this way. So like this. If you guys didn't know, I, I play on controller. If you click L2, instead of actually like copying it, you can take it from its spot. Uh, I'm just gonna put it about this far away. Uh, maybe there, yeah. That's probably good. Um, and then, yeah, that's ba that's literally all you have to do for the one v one, like a stairs bit. And a, it's where is it? It's here near the spawn pads. Play a checkpoint. I just put like four around here. I don't really need to do any of that. Yeah, I probably just put like four around here, just so then if you step on it, then when you die, you just spawn right there. So moving on to the next step, I'm actually going to fix this up because it kind of looks 
bad. Um, yeah, like I said, moving on to the next step, we are gonna do galaxy background. If you really want that. If not, then what the hell? If not, then um, we can just move on. I don't think there are gonna be any other steps really. But actually, there's one more important thing that you want to do. If you're doing a haunted theme like me again, just take this thing from here, and I'd say put it around like where you want your galaxy backgrounds. I'd put it around here. It'd be good, not too close, because then they'll just run into the wall, but not too far, because then they won't like, really see it. Uh, and then you're just gonna fill in the whole thing, uh, and just choose like how far you want it to be. Make sure, remember, um, not too close and not too far. So right now I'm just checking if it's symmetrical. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven across. So we got two here. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's good enough. Um, and yeah, I'm like really OCD on my Fortnite like maps. Like they have to be symmetrical. Um, if you don't really care, you don't really have to. But like I just. Want So right now I'm getting to the back bit. Um, you want this to be like pretty far, but not like far, like all the way to the other, the other side of the map. Cause that's where they're gonna um, like 1v1 out. So I'd probably say here's pretty good. Yeah, around here, which is about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine squares away from the back. Would be pretty good. I'm actually just gonna move the 1v1 a little bit backwards, just so you, um, the the one facing this thing doesn't like hit the thing. I'm just gonna grab some more checkpoints. Oh yeah, and obviously if you are doing this. To. Like I said, this is your map. I'm just telling you what to do with it and what you should do with it. Obviously, I'm not trying to be bossy. Um, it's just this is probably pretty clean. Um, pro I don't think I'm being that bossy, but anyway. If you would like me to not be bossy, if you think I'm bossy, then just comment below. Whatever you guys want, I'll do. Um, obviously this is the most boring part, so, um, I don't know, really. Twitch PS4, man. Wait, that doesn't, that's not my thing. If, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it is PS4 underscore man underscore TTV. I'm probably going to be changing my name when I get a PC to, um, yeah, that's right, I am switching to give me mass, uh, to PS4 man, like this, probably, I don't know. Or PS4 man slash YT.
As you can see, I'm getting to the end. Very close. Just gotta do a couple floors here. And I will be done in three, two, one. Uh, yeah, now that we're done with the floors, um, you can go ahead with the galaxy background. So for this, you're gonna need most people don't actually know this if you if you saw one of my other cringy videos that I did because I didn't know how to record then it was just live streaming so I'm sure because I didn't know how to record um most people don't know that it's actually barriers that create um that galaxy and stuff so most people just do spam it like spam it as much as they can just do like spam height do height a hundred and then just go with the hundred which is, um, which is like probably something smart, but like, oh no, not that. It's yeah, probably smart, but what? Is, keep doing that. Yeah, it's probably smart just to do that. So you don't have to get the exact measurements, but it kind of looks messy if you're outside trying to do something. Anyway, I'm just gonna do that for now. It, it's very, it's probably the easiest option to go with. And you're looking for a simple one. So, yeah. Um, the settings for it, if you, the settings for it and how you do it is, go to the edge of your thing, and one off the edge, place the barrier, and, why is it not letting me customize? Um, do barrier width, 100, uh, barrier height, 100, doesn't really matter if it's 100, 100. Just make sure it like, goes around the whole thing. So, example, the easiest way is just do it 100, 100. Not depth. Oh, wait, what, what's happened here? Very high. Yeah, not depth though, because that will control it and push it in. Um, as you can see, my thing just started changing. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna set it to invisible right now. So here I've actually placed the barrier a different way. So I'm gonna have to do depth. But don't worry about that, just make sure you place it in the correct way so width is like going that way. So make sure you just place it face on like that. Not to like the right of your thing, face on. So now that I'm done all the barriers, what this does is basically it makes um, it makes it so you can't go out of the arena. Um, and now, like you said, like I said, galaxy backgrounds. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is, you can choose a bunch, like there's a bunch, like pure black, changes the style of the barrier to just black, or like, um, thread plate makes this. If you're actually doing haunted theme, this looks really good, which is probably what I'm gonna do for, um, today's one. These are all the barrier, not all of them, apart from a couple of stuff. These are a lot of the, um, ones, you can't really see that one. Yeah, that's most of them. You could choose any, like I said. Probably put links in the description to each one. But now that we've done that, you can choose whatever one that you want. So instead of actually doing um, thread play, I'm gonna go for um, this one. The uh, actually, I don't know what I should go for. Um, I'll probably go for brick. Oh, no, not brick. This. Yeah. I'll probably use that. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I'll use that. Like I said, you can choose anything you want. It'll still work. It's nothing like, oh, you've got to do that, otherwise, it won't work. Oh, customization. Okay, so now that I'm done these walls, you can actually go ahead and 
You don't have to do this, it's just like something that'll make it look a lot cleaner. If you don't, then you can just skip this. But, um, turn your, f start to fly, and then turn your flight speed up to three. So you can see the button there, whatever it is, click that. And then just spam put walls while doing the up fly button. Just go till max height. Just don't go till it doesn't let you anymore. Like that. And then patch yourself. Check where it is. So now that you're, what you're gonna wanna do is, oh, geez, uh, grab your barrier again. This is just for the roof, actually. Um, and then just go barrier height 100. It may seem weird since it's barrier height, but really, if you turn your world upside down, it would look like, yeah, it would be going up. What the heck? Oh, sorry, I've also got to do, um, barrier width is also got to be 100. Like that. Uh, and then also, it won't show if you don't put your thing. So mine is brick. Cool. And then if you go down, it actually comes up. Yeah, that step is not mandatory. It just looks pretty cool. Like all of the steps are not mandatory. You could literally just do this. Boom! Simple one view. This is really simple if you really ask me. But it's just a 1v1 that's it's actually pretty advanced one. Not gonna lie. If you wanna go that one step further, you can even um, get this thing called it's not even that hard, it's just called a mutator zone. Uh, just grab a couple and then, you don't have to do this by the way. Um, grab a couple and put on the roof of um, like the spawn room or the weapon room. Yeah. Once you've done all that, then, um, just check from above. It's pretty easy to check from above. It's messed up there. Yeah, it's pretty easy to check from above. You just go up here and you just check that all the tiles are. Uh, it is if you're doing um this the haunted thing. So anyway, once you've done that, you 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 don't have to do this setting, but I I like it just so like people don't kill you in this one. Uh, allow building no and weapon fire no. And yeah, if you really want to do this, just do it to all of them. For some reason, if you're doing the haunted theme, it like glitches through the floor. So you just gotta glitch through the floor. Usually it's not as hard if you're doing it just like through. Legit can't get it anymore. Eh, like I can't get up to it. I'm just gonna have to. You know, if you're having troubles with this, just fly and turn your flight speed down to 0 0.5. So you get an easier. Okay, so now that you've done that, this basically allows you to um to basically not shoot people in this area or build. Um, right now I'm gonna make it so um they're invincible to people like outside. This is actually pretty advanced, like mutated zones. They're not that advanced, but like, still like, I've, I said it was a simple 1v1, you just have to do that. This is actually not that hard. What I'm talking about is the, um, the bit where you make them invisible. So what you're gonna wanna do is, this might seem like, oh, I'm G. What you're gonna wanna do first is, grab the class selector in devices. It's in the, um, straight under the item spawner plate. Just go down, you, uh, bot, like the, exact right and then you just go down till you find this bad boy and then you grab it uh, like i said it just puts it in there for some reason for me but if it doesn't you can just throw it down um once you've done that this will come up here it's like oh what's this used for grab your class designer here on the exact left just go down till you find this um place it down like i said mine does this um, what you're actually gonna wanna do is put it in the little blue zone. It's much easier if you just go size it volume two meters or even like, just put it as big as possible, really. Oh, no, not, definitely not as big as possible. About, uh, probably 15 meters would be a good size. 
Uh, yeah, so take it from here and just put it inside the zone. Um, what you can do is you can go max health and then just put 10,000 health. And then, wait, sorry. I'm pretty sure you can actually make yourself invincible. 100% sure. But, go down, choose what you want. Uh, starting health, invincible, there, that's what um, I'm gonna put there. And then, that's basically all you have to do. If you wanna give them instant reload, you can. I might actually do that. No, I won't. Uh, yeah, so just make sure that's inside the zone. Right now, I'm just gonna change it to, um, you probably shouldn't put it at like 10, 15 meters. Probably put only one meter and just try and fit it inside. Because this is going to like at, the, at your spawn pad. Um, most people actually don't know this. Wait one sec. Uh, if you go to into it, invisible during games, make sure it's on no. And um, visible during game. No. Uh, most people actually don't know this, so I just build like. So I just build like this. I could actually, if I pull out my thing, on controller, I don't know what everything else is. If you've got a 60% keyboard, you can literally legit like not play creative. But on controller, if you click the right arrow, you can actually select it, select like multiple things. And then if you click copy, you can just paste those things. Just like that, you can paste multiple things, not just one. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do for that is select and then just copy that and then what you can do is you can bring it over to your spawn pads you don't have to do this like I said you're basically done anyway if you've done all the other steps as you know there's one more thing sorry I forgot but you can just skip to I'm done this if you don't really want to see me do this yeah, just put it right on the circle because that's exactly where they spawn. If you are doing this. Yeah, just put it exactly on the circle. And then boom. Oh, no, this is definitely not exactly on the circle. That should be fine. Oh, no. Um, let's just talk about that. <laughs> You could probably put the um, class selector at two meters. Yeah, you can do that if you didn't get it exactly on there. This one's exactly on there. So I'll just put two meters here. Um, where is it? Where is the class design? In the class selector. Uh, two meters, yep. Yeah, do that. So basically, when they spawn, they're gonna um, spawn when they're invincible. And then make sure, don't think, oh, you're done there when you did that. Because you have to still put the thing at the door, or you basically um, turn not invisible. And make sure there's no other way to get out. So take a new one of these, not of them, of these ones here. And then um, place it inside the zone again, like I said. Place it inside the zone. Okay. No, not like I uh, yeah, that should But um grab this actually, the class designer. And visible during games, yes, no. Grant ammo with weapons, yes, doesn't really matter. Um so you're just gonna just just do that. Just literally you don't need to do any settings for it. That's yeah, and then like I said, do the select thing. Grab it, and you can just go to your spawn room. Missed it, and just put it at the door, right at the door, so no one stays invincible. If I just start the game here, you'll see that you can't actually see all that blue stuff. Like it doesn't look like that. Yeah, you are actually invisible, invincible right now. But yeah, as you can see, how this stuff is blue if you've never used um, if you've never used like mutated zones. It's basically just yeah, you just 
just tells you what to do. Like, I can't build it. Oh. Can't break, but I can build. Oh, one of them I must have done wrong. But yeah, you can't break. Still edit it. Yeah, make sure all of yours are correct. That was a silly save button. Make sure all of yours are correct. If you go out here, you should actually not be invis invincible anymore, and you should be able to 1v1. Nicely. Okay, um, I've actually filled up. I don't know why I just did. I'll just copy this from my head. Um, actually, I just did the whole outro, and I forgot. The settings, the island settings, how could I be that dumb? I just started a whole new recording. I'm not gonna do like everything else. Like, not all that. Well, I had to restart everything. I can just edit it differently. But if you return to your island, so make sure you can fly and you have your phone. Um, I'm not gonna get out of here because it like, hurts my eyes. But, but anyway, um, if you go to my island, go to game. Uh, I probably just put voice chat on all. Uh, team dare free for all. Um, spawn limit, just put that infinite. Depends what you really want. Um, so, time limit, uh, actually just put none on this. Unless you don't really want to, you just want it to be a time limit. Or if you want to feel better. But yeah, none just means like it can go till the creative shuts down. Which is pretty cool. Like since you just did that for three hours. Anyway, last standing end game, no, just don't do any of that, you need to do it. Um, join in progress, actually just do spawn. I don't know, it's pretty handy, they don't have to end the game, everyone go back to hub. Uh, that is it for the game one, uh, the settings. Um, depends what you want to do. I'm just gonna do, um, original 100, um, 100. Or you could do, um, max health, you could just do one this and then um max shields you could do 200 i would actually do that that's like just pretty unusual but infinite ammo just probably stick that on um allow aim assist yeah it depends what you really want uh allow to edit yeah environment damage just put off so then like they can't destroy um like the stuff that you built, like they can't destroy the um, walls of the um, like the haunted house or anything or the one v one. Uh, structure damage, you put that on one. Pickaxe destruction. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I'm personally just gonna put default means like you just do it like normally. Instant is actually really cool because you like say you're trying to take a wall, you have to pickaxe it once and then you're just done. Uh, PvP target. P Oops, here I can't spell. So, oh my god, I legit can't stop. Oh, <laughs> bro, late night. Um, PvP pickaxe damage. Uh, you can put that on if you want. I'd probably put it on. Eliminated players items. This is a major one. Uh, make sure you put that on keep. Uh, full damage. Put that off. That's like no brainer. If you fall, you're gonna die. Um, this is something that I actually love to take off because when I'm trying to do my current jumps, I spam X, which is really weird. Glad I read the plan, I'm just gonna put that off. Uh, plays names and location. I actually like to have it on, it just looks pretty cool. Uh, health granted, make sure this is 200. So then like, um, let's see, 225. So it's just like you kill someone and then you get 200. So once you've done that, that's it for the um for the settings. Apart if you want to do this, but it doesn't really matter. Like you, uh, you don't need to do this. It doesn't really matter about this. But anyway, that is it for your simple one v ones. So this is what I ended up with today, and that was a nice looking haunted type of thing. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, ended up with a nice type of like haunted looking thing. I'm just gonna fix it up here. Okay. You don't really need them. I'm just gonna get up there. But yeah, that's what I ended up with today. Um, hope you like it. Um, hope yours is good too. Uh, hopefully you understand it easily. Uh, if you didn't, you can just comment on this video saying what you need help with. And I'll be sure to make another video and. Your question. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe, that'd be really appreciated. See ya.